new at 11 tonight. We are enjoying sunny skies and clear conditions, but just a few weeks ago, we were struggling with unhealthy air quality because of smoke from the region's wildfires. KXY 4's Brittany Paris working for you tonight. She's live at Riverfront Park, and Brittany, all that smoke really impacted the park's revenue. Nadine, Riverfront Park lost more than $37,000 in August 2015 compared to August 2014. The Parks Committee is contributing that to air quality issues and the powwow moving venues. On August 21st, wildfire smoke in the area brought air quality into hazardous levels. That day, Riverfront Park revenue was down more than $7,700 from the same day the year before. And on August 26th, the park lost more than $14,000. That weekend, the powwow was moved inside the convention center. Not too many people knew. A lot of people didn't even want to come because they knew that the air quality was bad and poor and it was unhealthy to breathe in. And they didn't really want to be in Spokane because of that. Tara Wildcat says people were handed masks and given handouts with air quality updates as they walked into the convention center for the powwow that was supposed to be held at Riverfront Park. And while people were enjoying running, biking, and walking in the park today, it was a very different story a few weeks ago. This is video from August 21st. Some women I met today say they spend a lot of time outside but weren't able to when the air quality was so unhealthy. You might remember the smoke was so thick it was getting inside businesses. Restaurants near Riverfront Park say they also saw a dip in customers during that time. It was more just trying to catch breath. Right, and find a place to duck away from it. It was really bad. We had to close off our patios for most of the days. Um, other days, some days it was even so bad we even had to close the doors just so the smell wasn't getting in the restaurant and people wasn't messing with people's food or they, they still wanted to eat all their food. Rock City's assistant manager Robert Davis says he saw people walking around the mall covering their hands, covering their faces with their hands and complaining about headaches. Now luckily the air improvement, the air quality has improved dramatically in the area. Still no word though on how that revenue loss will impact Riverfront Park in the in the long run. Reporting live tonight, Brittany Paris, KXLY 4 News. Well, I hope we don't